In this video, I will be going over how to create macros. I will be showing you how to do this from Tech Wizard, but you can do the same from the Properties tab in the main Tech Manager window. So uh, starting off, uh, you'll see we have over here our commands. These commands are divided up into groups host, which is just general uh, information and controls for a tech monitor, stuff like an overall system power, along with the timers. After that, uh, we'll generally come uh, our first serial device, in this case, a Hitachi projector, and then so on. We've got status for device theft that can be used in conditions, status for motion, uh, the inputs on, for example, like the IO ports, those inputs would be here, the status of the security LED, a, another serial device, or this is an IR device, and so on. Generally, uh, serial devices two and three will show up down here after the status section of commands. And all you need to do if you want to add a command, like for example, input select. So you just find what you want in this list, click it and drag it over into this window over here. And there you go. Uh, now we've added an input select for this macro. <clears throat> and this works much the same for all of the commands. Some commands, uh, such as remaining maintenance hours or some volume commands, uh, are numbers, and you can edit those by finding the uh, volume level or maintenance hour command in question, dragging it onto this window, right clicking and select edit, and then it will allow you to set a value. So let's say I want this to set the volume to 30 and switch to HDMI 1. And now uh, in Tech Wizard, uh, you can swap, switch between macros uh, quite easily. Uh, if you try to change which macro you're editing or move on to a different step in the Tech Wizard process, it will give you a pop-up prompting you to save it if you haven't already. So I'm going to hit yes, and then we'll go back to it. Uh, you can also save your macros by hitting this apply button right here. You'll see uh, along with apply, we have a few more buttons here. Add step works very similarly to just dragging a command onto the panel. So you just select your command and then hit add step and it will add it there. Add condition will add a condition, which I'll go over shortly. But before we go on to that, uh, we have remove, which is fairly self-explanatory. It will remove the command. You can also do that using this red X over here. You can also change the order in which uh, these commands will be sent using these arrow buttons here. And now I'll move on to conditions. This allows you to set up a like a condition. So let's, for example, go with uh, a projector power. So let's say 
you only want uh, something to happen uh, if the projector is on. In order to do that, you'd select the projector, the power, and then what uh, state you want this to follow. So here, if power equals true, so if, uh, or if power is on, it will run this step right here. So uh, let's, for example, if uh, power is on, let's turn the video mute on. And if power is off, we just won't do anything. We could, of course, have something uh, here. But I th think for this instance, we'll just stick with this. You can also have a multi-condition. So this way you can see if power is on or and. So let's say power is on or uh, video mute is off. Uh, just for example, if either of these are true, it will run this. If we switch it to and, it will only run this true macro if power is on and video mute is off. <clears throat> and that's uh, how conditions work. Uh, much like with the other uh, steps, you can have multiple commands in here and you can rearrange them using the arrows much like you can over here. And with that, all that we have left is the reset button. If you click that, it will delete the macro and you'll start from the beginning. Uh, and of course, uh, when you're done with your macro, you'll want to give it a name. So for here, we'll just name this switch. Uh, we'll just name this. HDMI one. We'll hit that name here, hit apply, and voila, we have made a macro. That will be all for today's video. Thank you for watching.